We're asked all the time, what's the right scope base for my rimfire? Do I need 15 MOA, 30 MOA, or 50 MOA? The answer could be pretty straightforward, so let's talk about it. For the CZ457, we sell scope bases in 15, 30, and 50 MOA. It can be hard to know which one's right for you, but let's get into it. The basics of a scope base with MOA built into it is to pitch the optic of your rifle, allowing you to use more of the available internal travel in the course of shooting. All optics have some level of internally available travel. This Collis K318i has 102 MOA of available travel. What this means is from top to bottom, you can dial and that reticle will move and account for 102 MOA, which is about a degree and a half. Um, but what I need to be able to do is use as much of that as possible. When you get an optic and it is truly zeroed from the factory, it should theoretically be in the center of that elevation range. Meaning I can put 102 MOA of travel absolutely parallel to my bore line and be able to actually use about 51 MOA of it. Now there's some variation there because a zero may not be perfectly uh, up or down. There could be, there's always some version of bowing up or down in the, uh, in the bore of the barrel. But as a rule, you get to use half of that. Unless you move the way that your optic sits, uh, then you can offset that elevation travel and use more of it. So the rule on which one you choose is what is the available elevation in your optic? You can find this out on any manufacturer's site. If you got a Vortex, a Night Force, anything else you've got, it's on their site. It'll be on some of the major optic resellers, you know, Sword Optics or Euro Optic or Optics Planet. One of those guys, you could always find the max elevation for an optic, and it will typically be written for you in MOA. So I know that with 102 MOA available, half of that number is 51. So I can use a 50 MOA op uh, scope base and be just fine. If this optic only had 80 MOA of travel available, half of that would be 40. If I put a 50 MOA base on an 80 MOA optic, so half of 80 is 40, uh, it would, I could very likely run into issues zeroing my rifle at 50 and almost certainly at 25 yards. So you wanna make sure that the cant on your scope base does not exceed half of the available travel for your optic. In general, that's the rule. There's always exceptions to it. You can always have a problem with the optic where the true zero is not zero. There's a problem with your optic where your zero is, is way off of that. Uh, but those are by far the exception and not the rule. So figure out what kind of elevation travel is available in your optic, cut that number in half, and that is the maximum amount of cant that that optic is going to support in, a, uh, in an optic base. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for stopping by.